It was supposed to be a year for a return to greatness for UD. Instead, Tony Stanley broke curfew last night and being suspended for today's big game with George Washington, just the latest in a long line of problems a lot of different flyers have had. And without their leading scorer, along with a flu weakened Edwin Young seeing limited action, it was an uphill battle with an overloaded pack. So somebody had to step up, and his name is David Morris. The freshman played a career high 30 minutes and scored 10 points, keeping UD close. It didn't hurt that he caught flyer enemy number one, Shantae Rogers, sleeping here. 37 37 tied at halftime. After the break, Rogers got it going, though. 27 points for the 5 foot 4 inch senior. GW led by as many as nine, but they couldn't finish off the Flyers. Morris to a camped out Yante Hollins, 14 points, 10 boards. Best outing yet for the Dayton Christian product. UD within one, but the Colonials have it in Rogers' hand. The Flyers are afraid to attack him. Finally, he goes in, which is a perfect decoy. Seco Camera bags the three to end it. UD falls by four, short on manpower. Five players hit five, or hit double figures in the loss, led by Mark Ashman and Kobe Turner. They claim Tony's absence didn't affect them, but. You don't drop 15 points per game and not feel it. We need everyone on the same page, and um, I, I, I mean, he, he let us down kind of, but, you know, we just got to move on and, you know, play hard. We played hard enough to win. We weren't perfect. We could have played a little bit better, but played hard enough to win, and we, uh, we didn't make shots, and, and they made uh, the crucial one. We're so close every time, and, I mean, we're not going to quit. That's the last thing we're going to do, but it's just keep on taking shots, you know, keep on getting knocked down a notch, and we got to just come back harder and pick ourselves back up. Flyer men home again on Wednesday.